God be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, verse 13. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. The Lord Jesus told a story about a man who was a sinner, and he knew that he was a sinner, and he admitted to God that he was a sinner, and he asked God to have mercy on him and to forgive him, and God did. He took away his sin, and he made him right. You can read this story in Luke's Gospel in the Bible. The Lord Jesus taught people that they should always pray. Wherever you are, you can always speak with God because he hears you and he cares about you. And when we pray, we can trust in God and in his goodness. But we should never think that we can come to God because of our own goodness. And the Lord Jesus told a story one day about two men who went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, a religious man. You wouldn't be surprised to see him in the temple, but the other was a tax collector, a sinner. The Pharisee was feeling pretty good about himself as he began to say his prayer. Oh, his prayer started off okay. He said thank you to God, and that's always good, but he didn't thank God for all the good things that God had done for him. He said thank you that I'm not like other people. Thank you that I'm nothing like this cheating, stealing tax collector here. And he began to tell God about all the good things that he did. He thought he was better than other people. He thought he was good enough to come to God just as he was. But none of us are. The Bible tells us that we are all sinners. And the tax collector he knew that he was a sinner. He stood at the back and he bowed his head. He was too ashamed to look up toward heaven. He thought of all the wrong that was in him and he thumped his hand on his chest and he said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And the Lord Jesus said that one of those two men went back home right with God. And it wasn't the Pharisee who was so proud and who thought he was good enough as he was. It was the sinful tax collector who was sorry for his sin and asked God to have mercy and forgive him. And we need to remember that we are sinners too. And we need to pray to God and tell him that we are sorry for the wrong things that we have done and ask him to forgive us. And God can forgive us because the Lord Jesus has died for us and he has taken our sin and judgment so that if we trust in the Lord Jesus, we will be saved from our sin and have life forever with him. It's good to be able to speak to you again and to tell you these stories from the Bible about the Lord Jesus and the things that he did and said. I hope that before too long, we'll be able to start Sunday school again. Meantime, Thanks for listening. God bless you and keep you safe at home and at school and wherever you are.